Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And man, last night, what we witnessed between the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks, that was an incredible game, especially the performance of Kevin Durant. I mean, he went in 48 minutes, 16 for 23, 4 from 9 from downtown. He had 49 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists, and also still had 3 steals and 2 rebounds. So he pretty much did everything for his team. Matter of fact, the next highest when it comes to rebounds came from James Harden, and he had 6 um, rebounds. So Durant was out there not just lighting it up on the offensive end, but also just doing everything that was required for his team. I mean, we've saw other stars in the playoff. You know, they've pretty much gone out there, you know, whether it was, you know, LeBron without um, Anthony Davis or Anthony Davis start the game and he can't finish it. And then he just did not look the same out there like he's looked in the past. But man, Kevin Durant, he looked incredible last night. A lot of people, including myself, were waiting on him to fail, but he came out there and he showed that he can, you know, that he's still obviously Kevin Durant. But man, we know he's capable of games like this, but to do it in that situation, as Steve Nash put it best, that was impressive. Now, what we're going to talk about right now is what Reggie Miller threw out the idea that pretty much got him roasted on um, Twitter um, for throwing this idea out there. But he threw out the idea that maybe, just maybe, you sit James Harden, and I'm okay with sitting James Harden at this point. I mean, James Harden this past game, although him being a distraction was key, but in 46 minutes, he only made one field goal. You know, he's one for 10, 0 for 8, clearly wasn't himself. And so if that's the Harden that you're getting out there on the court, you know, he may become a liability moving forward if Milwaukee recognizes that. But um, he also recommended benching Kevin Durant in game six and not playing him. And so that's just historical. The man's coming off a historic night. He just went out there and scored 49 points. And you want to gamble and basically throw game six um, and just tank that game and bet on game seven. I mean, if you do that, I mean, right now the pressure is on Milwaukee on their home court. You know, this is they're facing the elimination game. And so you do not want to give them any hope by simply just resting your guys and hoping you know, that you guys can win game seven. Because if you lose, then yeah, everybody's going to be pointing their fingers at you wondering, you know, what a call that was, bad decision, why'd he do it? You know, especially seeing how Durant just played out there. He was fantastic. And this team doesn't have a prayer right now if he's not on the court. I mean, he has to do pretty much everything for his team. So just the thought of the idea out there was extremely laughable um, in many people's opinion. And so, um, yeah, they go on to talk about how, you know, Durant, um, I mean, they did get off to, you know, a, a, a questionable start. I mean, um, early on, Milwaukee, they came out, took advantage early in the first quarter. They outscored Brooklyn 29 to 15. And by halftime, you know, the first two quarters, the Bucks they were pretty much dominating. But in that third quarter, you know, Brooklyn came out, scored 38 points. You know, Kevin Durant, he, he caught fire in that second half, you know, fourth quarter, 33 points. And we know that he's capable of doing that. I mean, matter of fact, you know, his 49-point triple-double is the first time in NBA playoff history that anyone has had 45, 15, and 10 in a single game. And so that just goes to show the impact that my man had out there. I mean, he's just, you know, did everything that he had to do, understanding the situation. You know, Harden, he was out there, but his role was more of a decoy. It just wasn't happening um, out there. But, yeah, for Reggie Miller to throw that idea out there, yeah, that was just absolutely wild. Um, but he wanted to put it out there and see what everybody thought. So let's go ahead and applaud, you know, just let me know. What do you guys think? You know, does it make any type of sense in your opinion to start to sit um, down Kevin Durant and James Harden and pretty much throw away game six. So that way game seven, you can try to have them rested up and risk the potential that Milwaukee um, goes out there. Cause if they're going out there and they're playing against the rest of the nets and they go out there and they win big, you know, we already saw what happened when, when Milwaukee gets confidence on offense. They become a much tougher team to beat. And it took Durant to score all of those 49 points to, to ensure that his team was going to be victorious in this game. Because Milwaukee on the road, they've shown that they have found themselves as a team. So certainly, you know, you don't want to, you know, play that game in which, you know, you put all the marbles down to one thing. You want to give yourself, you know, that if they were to fall short, in game six, sure, they got game seven, but you never want to rely on that. Matter of fact, you end the series sooner, you know, good things can happen where you can, you know, prepare for the next one. Maybe the 76ers and the Hawks go to game seven. You never know. So you might get the rest in. You just never know, in my humble opinion, you know. And then obviously watching what, you know, 
CP3 and the Suns, you know, if they were still playing right now, they'd be in trouble because of the whole COVID situation with Chris Paul. So you just never know. But, I mean, Reggie, he knows basketball. You know, he certainly knows basketball more than me. So we'll see, you know. I want to hear what you guys think about this. You know, do you believe that this is something that they should consider? Do you think it's historical that this is even being thrown out there like I do? You know, let me know what you guys think. Um, but thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, and as always, you know, I love having these conversations. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. So see you guys next time.